Hello my lovelies, today is Friday. I'm doing it today on a Friday. I think I might be actually swapping the Saturday for the Friday because things are getting busy and I need to do things on a Saturday. So I hope you guys don't mind that that's going to be happening. So let's get on. Today I'm going to be using a German soap and that is Spike for men and that is the active wear. Now, as I said, this is a German soap. You can only get it online via eBay, sometimes on Amazon, but I got this directly from Germany. So I, when it comes down to the price, at the bottom on the information box, I actually took the current eBay price. Um, to work this out so that it gives you a correct representation of how much it would cost you if you'd get buy it online today, not from Germany. Um, although I think once I worked out the euros and the postage and so on, it works out almost the same, not much in it, the difference between what you can buy uh, pay on eBay and what I paid in the end. So the razor I am using today is my Mercure Progress. This is the long handled one um, and this is well one of my very first proper razors. When I say proper razors I mean it's a two-piece and you unscrew it like this. It's a two-piece and it's really really nice go back onto my videos to and do a search on macro progress and you will see the full review in one of my very early um videos because i've had this for a long time <laughs> it's one as i said it's one of my very first proper de erasers after the Yali, which was my first to try out whether I can even cope with this kind of shaving. That was then the next one I bought. Okay, so and the blade I'm using today is also a German blade that I've never tried before and it is a Chroma Diamant. So Chroma Diamant This is how it will go. Don't know what it's like. We shall see. It's a Chroma Diamant Stainless. I think that's the only type there is. I am not sure. Oh yes, and I must warn you, on this there's a triangle and it needs to line up with the slot, which is on the cap, right? Which is on this side which I can't show you right now now because I'm holding it the blade and so this is how you line them up I tried to color it in so that you can actually see I hope you can see that now and let's screw the top on and you've got to screw it down all the way and then choose what um, grade you would like. I'm going to go mild. I'm going on to a two because as I said I don't know the blade and we shall see. So that's the razor and the blade. First use just unpacked it and the brush I'm using is a horsehair brush this has been soaking in here for about five minutes whilst I just got my stuff together. And it is the Umo horsehair knot with a, was it a DS Cosmetics handle? I cannot remember. It will be in the description. So that's soaking in there. 
and I just want to show you, I didn't show you, this is, I've had this for a long while and this is getting a little bit dry but I don't want to put water into this tub, that's why it's rattling around a bit and it's actually now a little harder than it was. I have been using it as you see, I take bits out but I'm not going to hydrate it in here. What I have done is I've taken quite a lot out and put it into here and I've drawn up my one and a half teaspoons I'm putting half a teaspoon in there straight away into my scuttle and as I have no water in my scuttle today it will be fine I'm just letting that bloom a little bit let me put that also to the side, make sure that it's all safe. This is rather narrow here, everything, and I don't want anything falling. Now, as another new pre-shave soap, not new the soap itself, but new to you guys, this is part of my homemade soaps. This is the Ayurvedic soap, and it has amla, shika, kai, um, hibiscus, and lots of other Indian herbs in it um, that just make it's actually a hair wash bar but when i say hair you don't necessarily wash the hair with it you wash the scalp with it and it's got it's all natural ingredients no stabilizers nothing in here it's all natural and this used to be a, a hundred gram block and it's gone down to this so i've used it quite a bit but i have was this one's also now about four years old okay um i'm trying to look oh yes this is what it all well this one i've used for a little bit now as well so but you can see the size difference <laughs> okay and also the width difference <laughs> so this one i've been using for about four months and this one I've had now for four years, so you can sort of get the idea. This one is the jasmine one. Um, this one doesn't smell of anything, it's just I didn't put any oil, essential oils or any scent oils in here. I just put the Indian healing herbs into this. So that's my pre-shave. So for that, what I'll be doing now, I'll just wet my face. Here's my microfiber cloth, the cheapy, and it works very well for me. In fact, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because I've been using microfiber cloths on the dogs, you know, for years and years, and I just didn't think. Sometimes you need a jolt from someone else, and you think, oh, hang on a minute. Anyway, so here we go. Well, that wasn't quite wet enough. Here we go. Let's just put this on. I've got a sore bit here on my lip. I hope I'm not going to cut that open. Um, there you go. It doesn't taste very nice. It's quite bitter actually. The herbs are a bit bitter. So that's the activation. And yes, I've pulled out this one as well to dry my hands on right and whilst this is just doing its magic i just want to say hang on now no looking i'm going to turn you around so you don't see until i'm ready and i want to say thank you tom this is going to be used very soon look at this big bugger and this is the razor rock hulk <laughs> i think i'm going to be doing a lava lab with these ones i have some fun very soon 
but not quite yet. I have something else in, in, in the view, but maybe next week. So thank you, Tom, for that. And also thank you to those who have sent me sample blades. Dave, you've sent me so many. Uh, it is a challenge. I've tried to sort them out and I will show you this. You see all of these? Okay. I've tried to sort them out a little bit so that I can start doing some um, tests for you all. So let's get to lathering right now. Let me bring this down to lathering position because today is again one of those very miserable days. I've put something colorful on. There we go. Okay, let's squeeze that horsehair brush out. It's squeezed out. Let me bring this down further. Okay, let's lather. Okay, this will be super easy to lather. It lathers even easier when it's still in its hydrated state. But that lid, I must say, it, um, once you take the seal around the edges of that lid, it doesn't close super tight. So in the end, it will lose its moisture and it will get harder. But it doesn't hasn't lost its scent. It is a very citrusy scent. Well, you, what you get is citrus and you get... Um, the spike, which is unique. Spike is a natural herb grown in the Alps of Austria. And I will actually put a photo up of that plant. It's a healing herb and it has its a very own scent. As you can see, that is already very pasty. So I'm going to add another half a teaspoon straight away. And I still love my blue scuttle. And I must say, Steve Woodhead, thank you for these scuttles. This one was not personally made for me. Thank you for making that other scuttle for me. Uh, it was an order and I know it took you quite some doing because it has a stopper. And it's hard to get scuttles potted by hand with stoppers so that they fit. I know you had quite a job on your hand, but thank you very much for that. It was well worth the wait. So it's still very pasty and you can see this is a very soft brush. Okay, it has not much backbone at all. So that's why I prefer to use it with softer soaps. You can use it on hard soaps, but it will take a little bit more doing, a little bit more work. Okay, and spike, as you can see, can take quite a bit of water. This is cold water. There's nothing special. I have hard water here in case those that you that don't know me. I'm broad broadcasting out the UK. My name is Maya. I'm going to add now another half a teaspoon. So I have now two teaspoons in here. Um, spike can take a lot of water. It is not especially fussy um, with water types, nor whether it's hot or cold. And I have here a floating hair. Brush is still not broken in yet. I'm doing it the natural way, so every now and then I still get a hair. I did not comb it, I'm just going with the flow. So I think this is good enough. Let me just test. Protection is there, the creaminess is there. It is ready to be used. Right, let me put that down. Best not on the most narrow part. Definitely don't want to drop that scuttle. That would be a disaster. 
Right, let me say hello to you again. Hello. There we go. Right, so what else have I to say? Now, I've got quite a lot of soap in this brush. As you can see, why do I bowl lather was one of the questions I got. Because my skin is too sensitive to do a lot of face lathering, I prefer the bowl lathering. And I'm more in control what happens to the lather. Scent strength on this is a five. Am I shouting? I hope I'm not. Scent strength on this is a five. When it comes out the tub, it's actually more of a two to three. And then once it's on the skin, it starts really working well. And the scent bonds to your skin and starts releasing with the warmth of your skin. It starts releasing all those essential oils because they are pure essential oils it's vegan it's 150 grams i don't know if i said that before um yeah and what else was there to tell oh yes the spike plant is actually um harvested in a biologically regulated way so that that there's no over harvesting uh, that no or wild harvesting happens so it's all regulated so for that it's also that's also quite good I thought okay here we go so marker progress with the chroma diamant okay chroma diamant is not the smoothest blade I felt it's quite a lot of blade feel there and a bit rough <coughs> oh sorry sorry I need a bit of water let me just get some water that was not the brush water by the way I did pour that out before I had a drink <laughs> Okay, maybe this just needs another let's see what it's like on the second go I don't think that someone with the beard would be happy with this blade right now not at first let me just check is this maybe skew or something no it's aligned perfectly no so it is the blade this is maybe for a one day beard but definitely not two it would be tugging Let's see how it goes on the second pass and the third pass. Sometimes you get blades that need corking so that you don't have that problem. One of those blades is the feather, for example. I find that with corking you can use it, but also only in certain razors. Because of course, my skin is different to those with beards because my beard growth isn't coarse and you know, out there. It's not like a hedgehog. Okay, let's do a second pass. Very, has very nice slip. I would almost call this soap the German Pro Rasso if I may make a comparison. If you like citrus then you definitely will like this from scent I'm not so much a citrus person but this I do like 
Right, let's go across the grain. Oh no, that's a bit smoother. Actually quite a lot smoother. So I'll eat my words on the first pass. This is one that needs a little bit of working in. Okay, let's take my hair out the way. And it's got feedback now. So Chroma is a case of cork it first. It's a quite a mild blade and the tugging's gone now, completely gone. It just runs smooth. So would I buy this again? Let's do another pass. Well, I didn't buy it, thank you. <laughs> I was sent the sample. Would I buy this blade? I'm also a painter on the face. I don't do a lot of that. Horse hair brushes don't work for everybody. They are quite floppy, but I think especially for women, Horsehair brushes are fab a fabulous alternative to getting synthetic because there are problems with synthetic brushes. I mean, they are plastic at the end of the day. Um, and this is natural, right? And it's ecologically viable because all they do is they have to cut the horse's hair either which way. So they just cut the hair and then put it in a brush against the grain super protection this I'm glad I had the pre-shave on for the first run Would I buy this blade? Mm. It's not a bad blade. Not a bad blade at all. Um, I'm still thinking about it. Why? What's going through my head? My, what's going through my head is this. That this blade most probably won't cut it for most men. Daily shaver, yes. I think it's a bit mild. I had still quite a lot of water in that brush. <clears throat> That's why my lather is going a bit thin now. You can see I still have a few bumps in the soap. From the rehydrating.
Okay, this is my conclusion. I think I would buy this. Because sometimes it's nice to have a milder blade. Doesn't need to be all aggressive. And I most probably would choose my razor carefully. This adjustables work either with almost any blade. There's very few blades that don't work well in an adjustable. <laughs> Let's do one more pickup. I'd have to look at the pricing of this. I didn't look at the price. I think I prefer maybe different blades, but sometimes it's nice just to have something else. I've got a hair I cut, I know it's attached. It's still attached. Yeah, let's get my all my hair to the back. It's been very unwieldy, my hair, lately. No, it's getting better with each pass. So yes, I would buy this, but not for a two or three day beard, definitely not. I think the overall quality is good. There is one blade that I really don't like, German blade, and that is the Merkur. And I think you've seen me seen me say that before, that I do not like Merkwurz. So, Chroma Diamant, C-R-O-M-A and D-I-A-M-A-N-T, is a good blade. It is good, it needs corking, or if you have a beard, well then from second pass on, it'll work very well. Let me just make some noise and get some clean, a clean cloth and let me wipe my face with some clean bits. This is actually a very close shave. It has done the job, it is efficient. It cuts very well, but it needs to be worked in. Let me just dry this. There we go. Let's get some toner on. I'm using the Aloe Balancing Toner. The spike as a post shave feel is a little dry for dry skin. So you will need to have a moisturizer after. If you have oily skin, then that should be perfect for you. Then you won't need any fatting agents after. So whilst that dries, let me just show you how much lather is left. It is a rather wet lather because I had quite a lot of water still in my brush. In fact, I, I keep saying this and I still haven't learned the lesson. <laughs> that, <laughs> that one needs to squish out, needs to wring out the horsehair brushes a lot more than you're used to. Same like with, same with the badger brushes. Right, there's not much left at all. Can you see that? And it is very thin now. 
because I did the same mistake as last time with the horse hair brush. But it has protection and in fact this would be still perfect for um, doing a straight razor shave because it does have the protection. Alright, let me just get rid of this. And I oh, bad habit of mine. There we go. Don't want to lose you. Eh? There you go. Right. This is getting dry now. So, and now is always the question. Do you put on the aftershave first and then the lotion or the other way around? Well, that depends on what you're wanting to achieve. If you want to achieve a, hmm, how shall I put this, a, the feel of the burn and the closing of the vessels and all of that with alcohol, yes, then you put the aftershave on first. But I don't, I just want the scent, so I'm putting my lotion on first. I just want the scent. So I'm taking some of this lotion out. And that's actually quite a lot. I'm going to end up with way too much. What did I say? But as you see, it is actually soaking in quite a bit. For the amount that I used, that's already nearly gone. And that is because the spike as I said, as a post-shave feel isn't the one with the mostest. It's not bad, by the way, but it's not the one with the mostest. Right, and now to finish everything off is my 4711 aftershave. I don't necessarily want the sting, I just want the scent. There you go, I can do without the sting, but this is super close. Yes, this blade did work well. It's not the smoothest, but it's not bad at all. It is rather mild. And it needs one pass first, or corking, before it actually starts doing its job. <sighs> Thank you for watching me thank you for all you viewings thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell button thank you for everything you're doing towards this channel everything that I get from this channel be it via look just letting the ads run through everything gets plowed back into here thank you very much and well I'm already missing you and I have something superbly planned. I'm going to be doing either Sunday or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get around to it, but most probably Sunday I'm going to be doing another Lava Lab, if that interests you. So, I'll be seeing you this weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.